Hi, and welcome to another one of my cyber security videos. Before I start, let me quickly tell you about my free guide called How to Get Into Cyber Security for Beginners, where I showcase my five must know tips for anyone considering a career in cyber security. The link is in the description below. Okay, now let's get started. SIEM is an important concept in cyber security and it's one of the first things I learnt about during my time transitioning over into cyber security. Now in my day-to-day -day job I spend a lot of time looking at how effectively SIEM systems are being used. So what is a SIEM? SIEM stands for Security Incident Event Management and is typically a system that collects logs from other systems aggregating these logs into its central store. Then using specialized software, the SIEM analyzes these different logs and anything security related that looks suspect is flagged up by the SIEM software. A SIEM solution consists of a number of components involved in security information management, also known as SIM, and security event management, also known as SEM, including the following. Data aggregation, threat intelligence, security event correlation, advanced analytics, SOC automation, dashboards, threat hunting and forensics. Let's explore the SIEM solution components in more detail to see how they work and fit together to analyse the incidents. Data aggregation. SIEM solutions need data from multiple sources as part of data aggregation, moving data into a single place. The SIEM systems either collect the data themselves or use forwarders to send logs from other systems to the SIEM system. These logs the SIEM system collects are a series of events recorded in files, providing a history of activity. Once the SIEM system has the logs, it uses a process to analyse the events in the logs and categorise the events based on the severity of the event. The SIEM systems have specialised software able to analyse the events using threat intelligence and historical analysis to work out which events need action taken and which ones can be ignored as they pose little threat. SIEM collectors can be configured to obtain log data from systems by being able to connect directly to the system and obtain the logs. SIEM forwarders can send log data to the SIEM solution from the system as they involve an installation of software known as an agent which can forward events to the SIEM solution. Threat Intelligence SIEM technology has improved over the years to deal with the advancement of threats in cyberspace with the increased use of threat intelligence. What is threat intelligence in cybersecurity? Threat intelligence in cybersecurity involves collecting information about past, current and potential future cyber threats, then analysing this information to see if it is relevant and how it could impact the organisation. The information about the past, current and potential future cyber threats is just data. More specifically, you could call it threat data. Without understanding the relevance of the information in threat data, this threat data serves no purpose. However, when the threat data is analysed and the information extracted that is relevant, then it can be said the threat data is now useful. This process of analysing and determining the relevant information about particular cyber threats is the intelligence part of threat intelligence. Without this intelligence, that is the analysis, the threat data is just data that will sit dormant somewhere. Threat intelligence is a list of up-to-date threats shared from many different organisations, including security companies. Threat intelligence allows the SIEM systems to check for patterns to see whether there is, there is a compromise from the latest threats. The different attacks change daily with new attacks surfacing all the time. And knowing what the latest attacks are is important, as it allows early visibility of when these attacks happen. The worst case scenario would be learning of a new type of cyber attack after the cyber attack had taken place and done its damage. SIEM systems have developed complex analysis methods combined with artificial intelligence, AI, machine learning, also known as ML, to analyse threat data and determine which aspects of this data are intelligence to be acted upon and which parts are questionable. Security event correlation. Security event correlation involves trying to spot patterns in the data collected by the SIEM systems to see if there are any indicators that could threaten security. 
If suspicious patterns are discovered, these are then flagged up, allowing security analysts to investigate further and take any remedial action. Advanced Analytics Advanced analytics can involve behaviour analysis by analysing the data collected by the SEAM solution to see if there are any changes to expected behaviour. As an example, the expected behaviour of an employee may be to only log on to their system during work hours, but recently they have been logging in during the middle of the night. This could be investigated further to see whether the employee is legitimately doing this or they are doing this to get access to information they should be accessing. Dashboards and reporting. All SEAM solutions have dashboards for easy viewing of the threat landscape to give them indicators of what is happening across the systems the SEAM system is gathering data from. These dashboards also allow for reporting to be able to see the number of threats identified over a defined period, allowing organisations to determine the level of threats they have faced over time. Threat hunting. Threat hunting is important as new threats emerge all the time and it is imperative to be able to analyse the data collected by a SEAM solution over time to determine whether a new threat that is out in the open has not previously inflicted the organisation. By using search analysis tools provided by the SEAM, the security analysts can query the SEAM data and determine the impact on the organisation over the past few months or even years. Forensics When organisations discover they have been breached, they need to quickly determine when the breach occurred, what was taken and whether those responsible for the breach are still in situ, that is, still inside the organisation's systems. Forensics allows analysis to be done on the data collected over a period of time to try to work out the series of events leading to the breach, including the initial attacks, the time of the first breach, along with the activities done post getting inside the organisation's systems. Forensics is an analysis of the crime scene, as what a breach would be, and like in those police TV shows where the forensic people try to work out what happened. Likewise in cybersecurity, the forensic analysts try to piece together the details of an incursion and breach of an organisation's system. Which is the best SEAM tool? The best SEAM tools, according to Gartner, are Splunk, IBM QRadar, Exabeam, Logrhythm, Skuronix, Rapid7 and Dell Technologies RSA product to name a few. These SEAM tools tend to be classed as leaders in the Gartner and Magic Quadrant released each year. Splunk. Considered by some to be the leader of the pack, Splunk provides enterprise level SEAM functionality and is a popular choice amongst many larger organisations. IBM Q Radar. IBM Q Radar is popular with larger organisations and provides SEAM capabilities to detect and prioritise threats encountered, allowing organisational security teams to deal with these events. Exabeam. Exabeam is one of the newer SIM systems providers who have embraced artificial intelligence machine learning to detect and try to stop cyber threats. Logrhythm. Logrhythm is a leading SIEM systems provider from the US, experienced in providing SIEM systems to corporates around the world. Skuronix. Skuronix markets its SIEM systems as a next generation SIEM system providing advanced capabilities to deal with the ever evolving threat landscape. Rapid7. Rapid7 SIEM system is another one of the newer breeds of SIEM systems entering the market to take on the established SIEM system providers. Dell Technologies RSA. RSA SIEM systems have been around for a long time and with its acquisition by Dell Technologies this SIEM is still popular choice for corporates. Cloud SIEM. It has also become easier for medium to smaller sized organisations to be able to use the SIEM especially if they've embraced the cloud, with Microsoft's Azure Cloud providing Sentinel and Amazon's AWS providing Guard Duty, with both systems being able to provide analysis of threats using threat intelligence. Those organisations who have not embraced the cloud find it expensive to implement SIEM solutions, especially if they are smaller organisations. The licensing costs can be prohibitive as they generally form some form of annual subscription cost. Then there is the issue of what to do with the outputs of the SIEM systems. How can the threat intelligence be actioned? 
This will require someone with experience of understanding which of the same outputs requires action and which ones can be reviewed later or ignored. The threat intelligence used by the SEAM systems does not quite meet the one-size-fits-all and requires human analysis to make decisions which will undoubtedly require tailoring to the organisation using the SEAM system. What will be the right course of action for one organisation might not necessarily hold true for another. SEAM expertise does not come cheap and many organisations may find this a high cost to bear with other organisations only using SEAM as they have been pushed into it by regulatory demands. Manage SEAM. The SEAM aspects can be outsourced to other organisations, specialists in managing SEAM solutions, who, for a price, would analyse the SEAM data. This can be beneficial for organisations who can ill afford the high costs of the SEAM combined with the in-house expertise to manage it. That being said, this also throws in issues around privacy, as the data passing into the SEAM is always going to be quite sensitive. It could contain not only details of individuals in the organisation, but also details of systems feeding into the SEAM and secret information related to a company's activities. With some level of expertise, the data being pumped into the SEAM could be controlled. So if developers are creating software with hard-coded passwords in them, then the password data could be stopped from entering the SEAM by educating the developers not to hard-code any passwords in their code and use a secret management software. Thanks for viewing this video. Don't forget I have a free guide called How to Get into Cybersecurity for Beginners, where I showcase my five must-know tips for anyone considering a career in cybersecurity, the link is in the description below. Till the next time.